right, my friends. I've been getting a lot of messages from mommies and daddies that my friends, you guys, are sad because we can't go to school. So I thought it would be a good time to talk about what sad feels like and what we can do to help ourselves feel better. Because I know I have been so sad because we haven't been able to see our friends or go to school. It's one of my favorite things to do is to go and play with you guys. And so I've been sad because I haven't been able to. So let's read our story about sad and then we'll talk about it some more, okay? I'm sad because my children won't stay in bed. All right, when I'm feeling sad, is the name or the title of our story. And look at his face, it's really sad. So our story was written, written, our story was written by Trace Moraney. I will talk to you in a minute. Please go back to your bedroom. Sorry guys, let's go back to our story, okay? When I'm feeling sad, I feel like someone has taken all the colors away and everything is gray and gloomy and droopy. Look, even this puppy dog feels sad. When I feel sad, I feel like I could cry and cry and cry so much and I make a flood. I want to crawl into bed and pull the covers over my head and stay there until the sadness goes away. Some things that make me really sad are like when I hear mom and dad arguing or when I'm sick and my body doesn't work right or when someone or something I love dies. That can be really sad. I'm sad because we can't go to school and see all our friends. It's okay to let yourself feel sad, but it could help to talk to someone about it. Sharing your feelings can sometimes make you feel better. When I'm feeling sad, I try to be kind and gentle to myself. I like to soak in a big bubble bath or listen to my favorite music. Miss Franco really likes to read a book or play games with her kids. That one's always fun. Sometimes just being with friends and family makes me feel better. Even if I don't want to talk, just being with my family helps. But the nicest feeling of all is when a kind person gives me a hug and says, everything is going to be okay. So right now, a lot of us are feeling sad because we can't go do all the fun things we like to do. We can't go to all of our favorite places. We can't even go to school. And it's okay to feel sad, but what we can't do is we can't stay sad. So when you feel sad, maybe you can go talk to somebody about it, like your mommy, your daddy. Or maybe you can go ask for a hug. Hugs always make me feel better. Or, oh, you can always go find your favorite toys to play with. That always helps too. But we can't always stay sad. Even though we are sad that we can't go to school, we can find things to help make us feel better about it. Like my way of helping to feel better about it is doing these videos for you guys. Because that way I, you guys still get to see me and I still get to be a part of your world. Even though we can't talk to each other, we can still spend time together. Okay, guys? So, <laughs> let's look at these pictures and see which one's feeling sad. Let's count the days first. Three, four, five. Let's go back to our pictures. 
the clock is so silly. Sometimes it makes me happy because it's just so silly when it interrupts me. And sometimes it makes me sad because I'm trying to take a video here. All right. So the little boy is the one that's sad, right? And it's okay to feel sad, but then we need to try to be happy too. And we can find ways to do that. Getting your hugs or playing with your toys can help you feel better, okay, my friends? Or maybe even making a silly video or taking a silly picture to send to Miss Franco. That would make me feel better. What about you guys? All right. Bye, my friends. I'm going to go chase my kids back to bed. I'll see you next time.